Brian here with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm about 20 minutes north of downtown Louisville, Kentucky in southern Indiana to do a walk around on this beautiful, fully loaded 2015 Thor Chateau 35 SB Super C with the full wall super slide and the outside kitchen. This is pretty much fully loaded, has the beautiful full body paint package on it, has the upgraded 6000 Onan diesel generator has dual ACs on the coach. I'll go into more details on the features on this. Overall exterior length is 35 feet, 11 inches, and the exterior height to the dual 13,500 BTU AC units is gonna be right at 12 feet, four inches. Coach is a one owner coach. The only reason why the current owner is selling it is because they wanna buy a bigger coach. They wanna buy a class A. Overall condition, it's great. Uh, I did find a few roller blinds, the MCD style roller blinds that aren't operating like they should, but I'm kind of picky when I do my walk around. Uh, other than that, I really didn't find any red flags and I do a pretty good visual inspection, I think. Overall, uh, let's go ahead and see. I'm actually walk back in the master bedroom and then slowly work my way up front, show all the features, but I do want to show you that full wall super slide, which is probably the most popular feature on this floor plan definitely obviously opens up the floor plan and of course you do have the bunk beds and the king bed in the rear all right i guess we'll start off with the full wall super slide so the super slide starts right here at the very back of the coach and goes all the way up to the cockpit area it meets almost up to the uh captain's chairs definitely nice king bed it does lift up and there's a little bit of storage up underneath there you do have two windows on each side of the headboard there uh, one of the roller blinds there off to the right they won't go up but anyway uh, this one you kind of have to this won't stay down and this when you pull it down you kind of have to assist it up but anyway, I guess they do work. They just don't work uh, properly. You do have the two pocket doors for privacy from the bedroom into the bunk area. And you have another pocket door for privacy from the walkthrough bathroom into the bedroom. And they are the solid pocket locking pocket doors. Self-locking. Those are the ones you want. Stereo back in the bedroom is Bluetooth capable thermostat controls to operate your AC and your heat in the bedroom area here and again you do have dual 13,000 BTU AC units 13,500 BTU AC units on this coach in the bathroom here you do have the raised foot flush porcelain toilet foot flush porcelain and the glass enclosed shower with skylight The wind is really kicking up, so I'm going to go ahead and apologize before I go outside because uh, it is really windy up here in Floyd's Knobs area. All right, in the super slide, the bunk beds, you do have 13 inch TVs for each bunk. And I did forget to point out in the master bedroom here you have a 28 inch tv and there's storage back behind this tv there lots of cabinet storage space in the back bedroom by the way and the tv up in the living room area which is a good bleep about a 47 inch flat screen there's storage back behind that too you got a nice little ladder here let's set that up there you go Refrigerator here is going to be the large 18 cubic foot refrigerator by Whirlpool. Looks like it's got a nice maker. 
and this is a residential all electric refrigerator and you do have an 1800 watt inverter to power the refrigerator when you're driving down the road or if you're boondocking there's your whirlpool badge there stainless steel finish on your refrigerator and on your microwave GE microwave huge microwave by the way three burner gas cooktop front burner usually a high output for boiling water oven looks like it's never been clean or never been used but I'm gonna say the owners are pretty picky when they clean the coach solid surface countertops that's a huge selling feature undermounted double bowl sink cabinets are gonna be some uh, finish it's gonna be a cherry finish and you do have the brush nickel hardware and that's where the full wall super slide stops right behind the captain's seat this is the dream boot dinette and it is real easy to break down I can do it with one hand just position the cushions the way they're supposed to go and you can sleep two adults comfortably on that boot dinette dream boot dinette everybody should do this one-handed look at that nice ultra leather finish on your fabrics and there's no wear or tear that I found storage up underneath the boot dinette 110 outlet up underneath there too and your sofa opposing the boot dinette is a trifold sleeper sofa comes out definitely sleep to adults comfortably on this and excellent condition the colors some kind of a tan in dark brown and the lighting on the window treatments same it's going to be light tans browns some grays oh got to point out the cup holders okay up in the front entertainment center area sound bar with Bluetooth I'm gonna say it's at least a 48 47 inch flat screen and there's your storage back behind I did check for water damage did not find any issues you won't have any issues on this uh, with the super C front molded fiberglass cap on the front which I'll show you eliminates any water intrusion coming in storage yeah let's go ahead and show it cockpit area here you do coaches sitting on the 6.7 liter uh, power stroke turbo diesel it's 300 horsepower with uh, 660 foot pounds of torque 10,000 pound tow capability six speed torque shift transmission and this is the big big chassis this is the F550 super duty look at the space you have in between the pilot and co-pilot seat you won't get that in a that, that much space in a class C so yeah all right coach is equipped with the upgraded 6000 Onan turbo diesel generator uh, Onan diesel generator and these are your monitor panels here for your holding tanks your LP tank which is 68 gallon batteries fully charged freshwater tank I forgot to check and see what the freshwater and black water and gray water capacities are but six gallon gas electric direct spark ignition water heater water heater whether you're boondocking or hooked up to shore power flip the switch on and 15 minutes later you've got hot water water pump switch there easy to figure out and this coach is equipped with tank heaters you have 12 volt heat pads on your holding tanks to protect them in the cold weather and this is your uh, slide button extend and retract smart device charging station here this is the remote for your slide outs uh, and you know, I believe your awning and your leveling jacks because you do have a uh, auto level on there on this coach this is your manual auto level controls right there oh and storage right here little closet for your coats odds and ends and you got a neat little mud room here for shoes or whatever neat little mud room right there I, I believe that's going to be your Xantrax uh, 1800 watt inverter all right uh, let's
looks like uh, yeah auto gen start magnum okay uh, yep that's your inverter here tells you where you are uh, as far as amps and light switches here I believe uh, awning extend and retract I left the awning in but in the thumbnail pics I put it out but the wind is just kicking up too high around here and this is your battery disconnect so you hit this disconnect and it shuts off uh, power to the battery or battery to the coach so you don't drain your battery All right let's back up here show off that full body paint that's what you want beautiful paint finish beautiful front molded fiberglass cap painted gel coated there's your chateau badge there a few little bugs on there but I didn't see any nick chips uh, nicks or anything on the on the front that's that huge f550 Ford F550 chassis, 19.5 wheels. Tires on the front are fairly new. A uh, little circle here kind of tells you that. Uh, the four digit code in this little circle next to the wheel rim is 1621. So the tires were made the 16th week of 2021. And they are in excellent shape. Sizes are 22, uh, 225, 70R 19.5s. And they are in excellent condition. Uh, four wheel disc brakes. The front suspension is basically an, uh, acts like an independent suspension. Chrome heated breakaway mirrors with extenders, I think. Fiberglass running boards. Side view camera here, and that's integrated into your stereo on the dash. 19 foot awning. You do have, for 2015, I believe that was new, the frameless tinted windows, 80% tint. It's basically pass-through storage, I believe. Or, well, it goes, you can put uh, chairs, all sorts of stuff up in there. And these are rotocast compartments. Slam latch baggage doors, gotta love them. That's in that mudroom. Let's see. Yeah, that's that's pass through storage all the way through. Outside stereo uh, TV entertainment package on this. Let's go ahead and close that before the wind gets us. Outside marine speakers. I'm not sure what the manufacturing date is on the rear tires. I'm gonna assume. They're the same as the front, but I cannot, the manufacturing date is on the inside. I can't get in there to check it out. But four wheel disc brakes, tires are in excellent condition, by the way. This is your uh, Blackstone outside grill, gas grill, and there's a table too right here. Uh, I guess I should have set it up for you, but, but you can Google Blackstone Adventure Ready Gas Grill for campers. Kind of get the idea on that. Outside kitchen, uh, this is the only other thing. This part portion right here was wrapped. It's like shelf paper. Manufacturers do that to kind of, anyway, but but uh, the, the, the wrapping, the owner just peeled it off, but he's gonna do something to clean it up. But there is no water damage that I noticed up here. But down here, the sink, it kind of softened up this wood right here. You could easily replace that, but it was caused by water in the sink you have to hit this button to pump the water into the holding tank and evidently it wasn't and it splashed around and anyway and it just that's what the owner thinks so but anyway dorm fridge let's close this back up here kind of show off that full body paint ladder to get up on your uh, TPO roof to access your thir dual 13,500 BTU AC units and you do have a 30,000 BTU furnace on this coach 10,000 pound tow capability right there and you do have a thousand pound tongue weight on this two and a half inch hitch seven way pigtail and you do have the electric brake control integrated into the dash 
little nick right here on the bumper. Uh, maybe caused by maybe a uh, bike rack, maybe? Backup camera. So you have side cameras and backup camera. You do have the slide out awning package over your full wall super slide. The coach is 50 amp service. And I am mistaken. It's 30 amp. 30 amp service. And huge storage back here. Man, with all the features on this, I thought it was a 50 amp. There's your heat pads on your holding tanks. There's your dump station here. You have dual fuel fills on this coach. Uh, this is the rear, I believe, is going to be your reserve 28 gallon. And then the front fill is going to be a 40 gallon. More storage. Slam latch baggage doors. All right. Here's your fuel, second fuel fill. It's your main 40 gallon. And you do have the upgraded uh, diesel 6000 Onan diesel generator. All right. It's going to be your 68 pound LP tank. That's your diesel emissions fluid or death fill right here. All your baggage doors seem to be in good shape. No rocked chips or dinks or anything. Anything that's really a red flag. Little scratches on that rear bumper that I showed you, but. Beautiful coach. And again, 16th week of 2021, just to show that the fronts definitely are matching. And again, I'm gonna assume since they're the same brand and everything, they're probably matching uh, the rear too. All right, let's start this up. 35,171 miles currently on this coach. No check engine lights, anything like that. And again, your stereo here is smart device ready. Uh, let's see here. There's your electronic brake control here. And this is your switch from uh, rear. Uh, fuel to a front fuel and 12 volt hookups here you get the idea auxiliary one two and three and four I don't know I don't know if that has anything to do with the uh, probably with the entertainment TVs and stuff in the back and of course your backup camera and your side cameras are integrated into that and you do have your smart wheel there's your Ford badge all right starting to do short videos for Instagram so after this video is done I'm gonna do a real quick two minute walkthrough on this if I can get it under two minutes it's not gonna be as detailed obviously but uh, anyway yeah it's a it's a beautiful coach that little bit of water damage in that uh, kitchen area that, that to me seems like an easy fix to me uh, I didn't see any red flags that were uh, showing any soft spots in the floor or anything that that some of that wood is particle board and if anybody knows about these rvs they they try to make them as light as they can uh so they're fuel efficient but uh that's that's not really a red flag for me but uh, anyway other than that and the roller roller blinds oh i forgot to show this the in, the led light strips there's only a few going out on the back here and I do find it important to point that out. That again, it's a 2015. We're going in the 2000. We're in 23 right now, 2023. So this is normal wear and tear. But uh, yeah, it, there's no red flags really that uh, would keep me from or my family from buying this. So yeah, it's a beautiful coach. If you want to come and see it, call the number on the ad. You always deal directly with the owner, or you can call 502-645-3124. If you want to keep up to date on RVs coming for sale by owner in the Louisville, Kentucky area, you can always follow HelpSellMyRV.com on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and now Instagram.